I also talked to Jeffrey Epstein's brother, who gave me exclusive insight and tells me that he thinks the evidence shows that Jeffrey did not kill himself. In July, Jeffrey Epstein was found semi-conscious with marks on his neck in his jail cell from an apparent suicide attempt. The attorney for his cellmate requested video from outside the cell to prove that his client saved Epstein's life. Last month, Metropolitan Correctional Center officials said they couldn't find it. A day later, they announced they did have it. But now, federal prosecutors say the video no longer exists and that MCC, quote, inadvertently preserved video from the wrong tier. I spoke with the cellmate's attorney from New York. The various and inconsistent accounts of what happened to the video are deeply troubling. We are going to request that the court conduct a hearing with live testimony to determine exactly what took place. Bruce Barquette isn't the only one troubled. So is Epstein's brother, Mark. Here's why. Epstein's jail cell looked like this when the medical examiner arrived hours after his death August 10th. Bed sheets strewn around, two fashioned into nooses with complicated knots. Epstein was dead, but EMTs inexplicably moved his body before investigators arrived. And Mark Epstein tells me what he sees in these photos doesn't add up to suicide by hanging, saying, quote, all we know is the guard said he cut him down when he found him. If you look at the noose, the long end of the noose has a hemmed edge and it wasn't cut. No creases. Mark Epstein says this noose doesn't show any cut marks, so how could it have been part of a bed sheet Epstein used to hang himself? There is a piece of orange bed sheet looped through a hole on the bottom bunk, not tied on. Not able to hold Epstein's weight, according to his brother. Mark says his brother was upbeat before his death because he was about to have a bond hearing, telling me, quote, At first I thought, okay, maybe he didn't want to go through this. He decided to take himself out. He was facing life in jail. But then I started seeing and learning what was going on. No, nobody thought he was going to kill himself. Jeffrey wasn't a wimp. I knew him better than anybody. We were brothers. What about the fact that Epstein changed his will two days before he died? Some say that indicates he was planning his suicide. But Mark Epstein tells me Jeffrey changed his will frequently, and he knows there was one particular reason he changed it this time, and that it had nothing to do with his criminal case. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News. <laughs>